if you look at, let's just talk about my sport, the sport of gymnastics. The top NIL athlete is not the greatest gymnast that's out there. Olympic gold medalist Dominique Dawes shares her views on NIL athletes who are getting paid for their name, image, and likeness. The debate over whether college athletes should get a slice of the revenue pie was among the topics being discussed at the Social Justice Alliance Symposium at Bowie State University. Well, the main problem is it's an inequitable um, arrangement um, where athletes in college, um, particularly uh, football and men's basketball and now women's basketball, um, produce the bulk of the revenues for the college athletic industry, um, yet they don't share in that other than uh, scholarships um, uh, that pay for uh, tuition, room and board. Panelists, which also included recent UMD graduate turned professional volleyball player Raynell Jones, NBA star Eaton Thomas and WNBA star Marissa Coleman also talked about how athletes can play a role in the pursuit of racial and social justice. Athlete or not, we all have a platform, we all have a voice and you're doing a disservice not to use it and as athletes, People are watching what we're doing, and no matter how big or how small, you have the opportunity to impact impact change. As a UMD volleyball player, Raynell Jones made headlines and received some backlash when she took a knee at games during the national anthem in solidarity with social justice and the Black Lives Matter movement. In Nebraska was when I got the most, and realizing that the amount of backlash is more of a good thing because that means my message is being heard by hundreds and thousands of people. So. It's influencing me to push even harder to let my message flow even more. NBA star Eaton Thomas is now an author, motivational speaker, and social justice advocate. Through his podcast and appearances, he's encouraging young athletes to understand the power of their voice. Sometimes when you're in college, you know, you're going through the routine of playing games, preparing film, everything like that, you don't realize the, the tremendous platform that you have. He says the women in the WNBA have modeled how an entire team can take a stand. When they first wore the Black Lives Matter shirts and they said they want to talk to the media about what was going on and how things need to change, the initial response was, you know, from the powers that be in the WNBA was don't do that. You're going to get fined. You're going to get punished. And then they all collectively did it. You know, they can't Find, they can't, you know, suspend everybody because then they have nobody to play the game. And that's just the power of a collective voice of standing together. A blueprint, he says, for how to move the needle and affect change.